friends. It's been a while. How are you? I'm glad to be back. But I have to ask you to just wait a minute. I'll be right back. Wait. I'm back. I'm back with Ricky and you had to wait. Sorry about that. It happens sometimes. And I know waiting even those few seconds while I went to get Ricky, you had to wait and it can be hard. And that's what I want to talk about today. There is a Bible story I want to tell you where a man named Abraham had to wait and wait and wait. He was waiting for God's promise to him. And in fact, that promise took so long that Abraham didn't even live to see the full extent of God's promise to him. Let me tell you about Abraham. Abraham and Sarah, and they lived with their family and their friends and everything. And, and one day they loved God and God loved them and one day God said to Abraham I want you to go to a new place to live and Abraham did what he was what God wanted him to do you know if you've ever had to move you know how hard it is to move your house and and to to leave your house and to leave your friends and maybe your family and and it can be really hard to do but Abraham went ahead and he did that because God told him to and then God made him another promise. God said to Abraham that you are going to have lots of children. There are going to be so many descendants or children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren. You're going to have so many descendants that there, there's going to be as many descendants, as many people as stars in the sky that come from your family. Now, Abraham and Sarah were getting old. Sarah really thought she was too old to have children. But God had made this promise to Abraham and God kept that promise. And in Sarah's old age, the Bible says that God gave her a son. And the, her, their son was named Isaac and Isaac went on to have sons and and one of them went on to have 12 sons and they those 12 sons became the tribes of Israel eventually there would be many many people and they would be the Israelites and and today there are still many many descendants of Abraham alive to uh, that are Live today and we consider the Jewish people our Jewish friends God kept his promise Abraham waited and waited and waited for God to keep his promise in fact in Abraham's case he never got to see that promise being kept and so we're going to learn to wait for Jesus wait for God to keep his promises to us too. We know that if we have faith, like Abraham had faith in God's promises, that we'll, get, we'll receive many blessings, many good things from those promises that God makes to us too. God has a plan for each of us. Just like God had a plan for Abraham, God had already knows his plan for your life and so we're going to wait and wait and keep the faith that God will keep his promises to us and he will you've had to wait a long time for Ricky and I to come back and we're just glad you are here with us today and I think we should pray together about our faith and about waiting let's bow our heads Father God, 
we thank you for your promises. We know that you have a plan for our lives and, and we can't know what that promise is all the time, but we know that you have a, you're going to keep your promise and you're going to keep that plan for our lives. Lord, show us how to be patient and wait. And all God's children said, Amen. Friends, we don't know what tomorrow brings, but we know that God will always be there to keep his promise. And so I hope you will keep the faith. Take care. Have a great week. See you soon. Bye.